Jelly bean poops. I better not be finding jelly beans everywhere. Clean those up. Happy Easter. Yay. My little minions. Mimo. Mimo. Mimi. Well, good morning, frugal friends. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Hope you're having a lovely morning. We got up, we enjoyed our Easter baskets, and now I am off on my way, going to do whatever I can do in the dumpster department. We will see how it goes. And this time, I really will <laughs> probably come home when I find one really good pick. I've said that so many times though that I'm sure you don't believe me. I don't believe myself even. <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. Hmm, we are walking up on a mess. That's still brand new. It's got a clearance tag on it. I think they were just throwing out all of these clearance items that didn't sell. But boy, they didn't, they made a mess. Bunch of packing materials. Oh wow, look at this. Look at this, you guys, there you go. There's the whole box of clearance stuff. They just chucked it out. Let's see what we have in here. There's some, some more pound cake. We'll see how old it is. Have to get the rake to move some of this around a little bit. But we'll also grab that pound cake and see, see what we've got going on there. And over here, oh geez, look at this you guys. Wow, and I have not done well at this dollar store in a long time. So this is a happy, messy surprise. You know, this is what's funny is, I mean, think about it. You've got employees that have to take the time to slice up merchandise, right? And seafood forks. Um, Interesting. Portable, convenient, non-spill. Is that for your wine? If I ever drink my wine out of a cup like this, that means I'm done. I'm just done with life. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but anyway, they. how many times have we seen employees take the time, oh, look how pretty that is, take the time to slice stuff up and destroy it. Here, the employees don't even take the time to neatly get the stuff into the bins. This is interesting. All right, let's go check the craft store bin. What I'm trying to say is employee time is often wasted in the wrong pursuits. Um, some packing material, some kind of, is that like a laminate cupboard? Or not cupboard, countertop? No, it's, it's just some kind of plastic. Uh, it's a bummer about those patios, patio boxes. I would love to have those. All right. Well, we'll grab the rake and see what's what with the pound cake and whatever else might be in these. But so far, we're doing great. So, I got the pound cakes. They are only just barely expired, March 20th. And a bag of rice. And it doesn't expire till... December of this year. How cool is that? All right, moving along. So obviously, that was a great start, right? That's that's an encouraging, happy, happy start to our Easter morning dumpster dive. I am very well pleased. The rice we will keep for ourselves. 
I'm gonna have to look through all those little clearance items and see if there is anything that we would want. Uh, but I could also donate or, um, I don't know. All right, well, we are heading north and we're gonna make a few stops. I'm still not going to hit the one dumpster um, at the dollar store where we've you know, had the security guard pop up on us a couple times. I'm not gonna bother with that one. I'm just, I'm just not. I suppose if I were to get in there real quick and see what's what and you know, grab things right away and then hurry on, I probably could do it. But I just don't think it's worth my time um, and any potential confrontations involved. We, we covered this, I think, in depth last week that me and confrontations are not a good mix. So, <laughs> and I have too much going on. It's Easter and I'm leaving in the morning. So we'll just avoid that, shall we? mess at the thrift store uh, hey there's some whole bunch of VHS movies I would love to have those there's a bunch of them Walt Disney and Warner Brothers we might actually try to get those I'll think about that but I do want to try to get some of these movies in here. All right, so we will most likely come back for those videos, but right now I'm not gonna worry about it because there is a boy, you probably can't see him, um, a young man rather, rolled up on a bike. I don't know if he's there to dumpster dive or what it is that he's doing, but Common sense and prudence says, though I'm sure he's certainly a lovely young man, um, I am a woman alone on my own, <laughs> and we have to be wise in everything that we do, um, especially out dumpster diving. Got to be cautious. I'm always saying to be careful, be aware, and he was watching me, sitting there watching, so... Um, for sure he was just curious and interested or I was um, encroaching on his turf, you know, his dumpster diving turf, uh, who knows. But the best thing to do is to leave. All right, family dollar. Um, looks like nothing this time. interesting some people dumped some clothes hey that's kind of nice soccer soccer jersey I think family reunion t-shirt we'll grab those a sweater here it's pretty nasty frame is broken well the glass is broken but the frame is still good so we'll grab those. Let's see if there's anything in here. Okay. So this is another instance where people have dumped their stuff. It's not necessarily store stuff. There are some uh, broken frames. It looks like the frames themselves are actually broken though. We have more frozen food, but it is actually expired. So I'm okay with that. Whole box of frames, but they totally got destroyed. That's a bummer. I think I will grab the rake and just look around a little bit. See, there's another guy out and about. So we'll just do what we can do and then, and that's all we'll do. We got some waffles. We've got some mouthwash. Whole bunch of mouthwash. Glad I decided to take a closer look because we're gonna want to get some of that mouthwash. I don't know. What do you guys think of dollar store mouthwash? Is it any good? 
even if I don't love it, I can always donate it, right? So we'll get the grabber and see if we can grab a few of those. And the waffles, most likely, they need to be refrigerated. Let's look. They're just barely expired. Barely. Does it say anything about if it needs to be frozen? I'm really not sure. Um, well, it contains egg and milk. So I'm guessing yes. Yeah. Okay. Darn it. Keep frozen until ready to use. And they've been out here in quite warm temperature. So we better not take that chance. It's not worth it. So dollar stores are where it's at this morning. I grabbed a whole bunch of the mouthwashes. We'll see if we like them. If not, I'll just go ahead and donate them. Uh, I did leave some. So anyone that happens to be in the Linden Utah area and wants to hit the dollar store by Walmart. Um, I did leave several, so. All right, this is where we found all that fabulous craft stuff last time in the craft store bin. And this is a Big Lots. Some of you were telling me I needed to check out Big Lots and I promised I would, so <clears throat> we are going to do that. So, so far, and this is right behind Big Lots, we've got a locked bin and another locked bin. So I am sorry, but it doesn't look like um, Big Lots is gonna be our place today. And they do. Oh, they do. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh, oh my goodness. Are you seeing this? Oh boy, oh boy. Um, geez, okay. Huge thing of bubble wrap, a random lid, some Minnie Mouse scrap paper. You know I love that. And the rest we will just have to look through and see. Oh wait, no, I'll show you this. Uh-huh, really awesome porcelain um, coffee mug. That's super, super cool. Love that. Whew. We'll just take a quick look. I think this is like the hair salon. Yeah, I don't see anything in that one. That's all right. We found those shelves last week. Let's see. Mm. I'm not seeing anything I'm terribly excited about. Hmm. Let's go and check these ones real quick. And then we will head over to Zercher's. Nothing. Boxes, 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 boxes. And packing material, lots and lots of packing material. Guys, you don't have to pay for packing material. I'm telling you. Just hit up, seriously, just hit up a few retail bins every now and again you will get all of the packing material that you could possibly ever need. If you are like me and do a little eBay business, yeah, you're gonna need, you're gonna need that kind of stuff and you don't wanna have to pay for that. That, you know, cuts into your bottom line. And when you're trying to do a resale business, you want as little overhead as possible. Well, one way to cut those costs, get free packing material. Hit up the bins, you will find plenty. <laughs> we got this guy hanging out right here in the road. Hey, you! Hey! How's it going? Happy Easter! Hey! 
He doesn't want to talk. Not to me, anyway. <laughs> All right, kids, wish me luck. This is the Zurcher's bin, and the last two weeks have been horrible. Here is hoping this week will be different. I don't know, I'm already seeing flies flying out of it, which means there's a very good chance that it's full of that nasty food waste again. Let's see, we've got some uh, poinsettias here. Live poinsettias, well, barely alive. We'll have to get them some water. Let's see if we can keep them alive. It is possible. It is possible to keep them alive. Past Christmas, guys. It really is. So let's just put them in here and we'll take that as, as a happy sign. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get my gloves on and we'll see about looking a little deeper into this. Lots of balloon packages, as usual. Food waste. That's why we have gloves. Hmm. Well, sadly, this was the only thing. It's full, so that's good. But this is the only thing I found. Just need to fix that lid in there, no big deal. But we've got some gold glitter hairspray. Woo! So yes, it's a bummer that all we found were the two half dead poinsettias and the glitter spray here in the Zurcher's bin. But that's the thing, guys, about dumpster diving. It, um, I've heard Omar Gosh, if you guys don't watch him, he's amazing, I love him. Um, but I've heard him say, that he hits, you know, like 30 to 40 bins before he finds stuff. And I think that's probably an exaggeration, but, but it does illustrate the point that not every bin is going to be a major score. That's just not the reality of dumpster diving. Now the craft store, yes, that was fantastic two weeks in a row. But remember the Zurcher's bin has also been fantastic for mo multiple weeks in a row. But now this is three weeks in a row that it was kind of a dud. That doesn't mean we're gonna stop coming to it, at least not until I switch over to public schools for diving. My last stop for the day, a bittersweet visit to my favorite local grocery store, Fresh Market. We'll see if we can find some deals and take a few moments to reminisce and appreciate another store that Walmart has put out of business. Well, I grabbed some stuff. 
the sad thing, okay, one of the sad things is that while I am in Arizona this week, that is when they will be doing the final markdowns and closeouts of all the remaining merchandise before they completely shut the store down. So I will not be here for that. So really, honestly, I didn't get any super amazing deals. I did get a few things. I got the mascara for half price, which was nice. I'll be stocked up on that. But really, other than that, I didn't get any kind of extra special prices and they didn't have, obviously, everything that I needed. So, I don't know. I'm bummed. I'm really bummed out, guys. I really am. I did get the graham cracker crumbs. I'm going to freeze those. They were a dollar. So that's cool. Bye, Fresh Market. Ran into one of my good friends. She's actually the mom of my kids' best friends. Uh, and is a neighbor of ours. And even though we're neighbors, because we're both so busy with kids and work and everything, the one main time that we chit-chat is when I come into the grocery store. So I always see her in the grocery store and, and she has always worked in a position where we've been able to, you know, chit chat for a while. And so today we walked around the store a little bit together while I grabbed a few things and it's just a grocery store, but it's so much more than that. And one of the other employees was in there when I was talking to my friend and she said, yeah, but it's your store. And that's what it comes down to. It is. It's, it's our store and our cashiers and, you know, our fish guy <laughs> that, you know, we've, we've been doing business with for the last 10 or more years, you know, and you build those relationships, especially if you're a couponer like me. You do. You build those relationships and it's hard. It really is. Anyway, well, dumpster diving is done. I bought some groceries. I think I'm gonna go home now. I think so, I think it's time. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful day and a happy Easter. And I wish you only good things and happy things in your lives. I'll see you soon. Bye.